All right, we'll do true shape of a plane now. And I see I have, uh, well, let's label these views. This is the plan view. This is a front elevation. Um, and then we have a profile view. Uh, and we're asked to find the true shape of, let's um, we'll call this plane a and this plane B and this plane C and this plane D. Let's just find the true shape of plane. Find the true shape of plane A. To do that, step one, we need an edge view. So we either need to create an edge view, or we need to find an edge view. And looking at plane A, uh, let me uh, first make sure we have I labeled all the planes, but I should also label the points. So this is one, I'm going to go clockwise, one, two, three, four, and then this will be five, six, seven and eight side if we can. I just think it'll be easier to see. Okay, well anyway. So one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. And if I look, if I project straight down, I'm gonna just kind of show this projection straight down. This down here is a point view. Get out of there. This down here is a point view of both points one and four. You see that? That's what that is down there. And uh, if I look straight down here, that's a point view, uh, you know, of uh, two and three. That's a point view of it. That's a front elevation. This is the top down. And the, up here is the top down, the plan view. Uh, so how does that work in here? This is five, eight. Make sure you understand how that works. And then this is six, seven. I'm gonna get rid of these. These aren't very good projection lines. So I'm gonna take them off right now because I'm gonna need better projection lines, possibly, I don't know. And uh, all right, so uh, what else can I do with this? I'm trying to find the true shape. Oh, I said I needed an edge view. And what really, if you notice, uh, A is defined, the plane A is defined by these points, one, four, and five, and eight. Well, here's one, four, five, eight. That's an edge view. So we were lucky in this particular example. We have an edge view of 1458. Uh, one thing I'm not lucky about is that uh, this whole thing, you know, if you're doing an example, if you're giving a worksheet to your class, you want to make sure they have enough room to work on it. And uh, with this technology, with the screen technology I have here, this particular program is allowing me to, to, to move the picture a little bit. And I have an edge view. Step two, if you have an edge view, uh, then you're in good shape, and we do. And so step two is uh, uh, draw a folding line. parallel to the edge view. And now you'll see why I needed that room over there. Draw a folding line parallel. Here's a folding line. Um, parallel to the edge view. Get rid of all that noise there. Okay, here's a folding line. I've drawn a folding line parallel to the edge view. It's right here. I'm calling the new view as I did last time when I was trying to get a true length line in the previous in the previous lesson, this is auxiliary view one, and we're going to draw um, uh, projection lines into the new view. So if you've been doing this a few times, uh, if you followed the previous uh, lessons, you'll know that that's the process, always drawing these projection lines lightly as you can into the new view can, as parallel as I can, not using proper tools here. I see a little bit of noise down here, I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, 
But again, I'm teaching the concept here. The accuracy is important, but uh, uh, this is the concept of, of, the, of finding the true shape of a plane. And uh, you know, my measurements, because I'm only doing this concept and have some inaccuracies here, uh, my measurements aren't going to be great, but uh, eh, we'll do the best we can with what we have. So here's uh, 1, 4 projecting in and 5, 8 projecting in. And we're in the auxiliary view. We want to know where do I put those four points? Does, is both 1 and 4, are they going to be a point view again? Does 1 go here and 4 go out here? Or does 1 go out there and 4 come in here? Are they, you know, why, where are they oriented in here? And uh, this is a folding line. And as I say, it's, it's every time we get into a new view, we're going to skip two folding lines. So I'm in the auxiliary one. I'm going to skip that folding line. And then I'm going to skip this folding line. Why am I not skipping this folding line? Because there's no view over here. I projected from the plan view to get this, or they did, whoever put this up here to begin with. And uh, so that's why we're skipping up there. And said, so over here, I'm not seeing any points. So uh, skip into this view, skip into this view, two folding lines always. Sometimes I tell my students, skip two fences. Yeah, but it's folding lines. We're skipping two folding lines. That puts us in the plan view. We want to know where to put the points one and four, because I'm on this projection line one and four. I see my distance to four is this little short distance. My distance to one is a longer distance. OK, let's make this clear again. One was this distance. That's D1. That is D1. And point four is, is uh, 330 seconds exactly in here. So I'm going to go 330 seconds. You can't see me three. There it is. Label it immediately. That's point four. I wasted no time. OK, five and eight. It's uh, OK. So it's 330 seconds less than an inch. So that makes it 30, uh, 29, 30 seconds. So I'm calling it 330 seconds less than an inch. It's kind of easier for me to remember as I transfer. It's right there. Label it immediately. That's five. And eight. I'm measuring eight. One, two, three, four, five, eight, seven inch. That's eight. Come on. There's eight. Labeling it immediately. Okay. Now, I don't know money. This thing's finicky. There we go. I'm using the tools this time and try rather than trying to get my ruler to do it. Oh, but it's it's also a little bit wonky. A little iffy. Now let's see if I can get that a better older look there. So I'm just completing the the plane here. So what did I just complete? I just completed plane A. This is the true shape down here of plane A. And that's how that's done. In the next thing, we'll, in the next uh, example, we'll look at what do you do if you don't already have an edge view. You, you can, it turns out you can create an edge view. But that's it for this uh, example.